back to our channel. Today we decided to film a video with us eating some wee stuff. And then we're also going to be answering some questions that we told you guys to ask us on Instagram. And we're going to be reading some comments that we found throughout answering those questions. Some hate comments. Yeah, so let's see how this goes. I also wanted to mention that I have my temporary veneers on. So if I'm eating funny, that's just because I'm trying to be careful to not break them. Because the temporary ones are really weak. So hopefully my freaking teeth don't come out. There's going to be a piece of tooth there. A piece of tooth. It's gonna be floating your ranch. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, I just have to be really careful when I eat like hard foods. So yeah, let's get started. And at the end of the video, we are going to announce the winner for our last video. The winner will be winning $100. We are going to PayPal you the money. And then for today's video, we didn't buy anything. <laughs> so $100 million. And it's, you oh, get to meet us. Uh, <laughs> so for this week's giveaway, we're going to be giving away a $100 gift card to O2D Fash. And we will be putting the link to the website below, just in case you guys do not know what that is. It is a clothing website. I'm actually wearing one of our tops. This is our Linda top. I'll put the website for you guys down below. And all you just have to do to win the $100 gift card to O2D Fash is just comment like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications to be notified every time we upload a new video should we go like one two one yeah. two one two one two three four five six <laughs> seven <laughs> nine ten so i'm going to start with the very first question and this question people ask with this probably almost every freaking day how did we meet the strip club girl i was giving her a lap dance and she was like girl you want to come live with me i was like hell yeah i was like <laughs> making the rain i met her at, at a strip club it's called um rhino spearman and gentleman's club in downtown los angeles is that a real <laughs> yeah i've never been to a strip club so i would know girl <laughs> i've been through twice it's not fun i used to meet mm. with this one because the strippers smell bad what do they smell like like I feel like they smell like they were like on a period. Ew, that's fucking gross. They, they smell like fish. Uh huh. That's like so the gross. ocean. Strip club is not fun. At least not for girls. You didn't even answer the question. I know. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, we did not meet at the strip club. We were joking last time on live saying that we actually met at the strip club and people actually believed us. I know. We were joking. We joke a lot and people like take us serious. We actually met through Instagram. We met, oh, you know what? It's been exactly a year since we've met. It's been a little bit. I, I bet you people think we've been knowing each other for so long. Mm -hmm. We met, I slid in her DMs <laughs> back in January. Remember when we found it? It was back in January. I had invited her to come with me to an event. It was like a, a lipstick launch with another influencer. And she said, yeah, and then pretty much how we met. I'm surprised I said, yeah, because I'm so shy. I don't like meeting new people. How now that you know me, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Else. I'm even surprised. I know, I'm I'm so shocked. So you and Elsie talk Spanish frequently? I, I don't think we ever do. Do we? You know, Unless, they, you know damn well, my Spanish is fucking horrible. Sometimes, like, when we joke around, we're like, no sé, es nazca. No sé, es nazca. But no, we usually just speak English. Yeah, um, my Spanish is really bad, though. So. I'm seeing a lot of questions too, seeing how long we've been living together and how is it living together. How long has it been since we lived together? We, we moved into our very first apartment in August and we lasted there only... It was like two, no, like three months maybe? Like three yeah. months. Oh no, we la it was August through December. Because our moving date for this one was January. And then, so pretty much we've been living together since August. And then, oh wait, am I dipping my chicken <laughs> in your ranch? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't see it. It's okay, girl, it's a lot of ranch. I know. It's like, you also ask how is it living today? I don't know how is it for you. I like it because I feel like we don't really argue or anything. We don't bump heads. That was another question they asked us. What has been our biggest fight? Me not picking up my sandals and you getting mad? <laughs> And then me getting all sad, I got some butter. There was this like this little, I forgot, I don't know if the guinea lady had came. Did she come before? Mm, 
the cleaning lady had came like i think it was the week before mm -hmm. so it was clean and the only thing that made the apartment look messy <laughs> were my sandals and she was like i think it's so funny how like i look around and it's just your stuff and i was like <laughs> and i put my shit in my room and i got some vulgar <laughs> didn't know you didn't do it in intentionally yeah like i didn't know i guess the way i was saying it it didn't come out right but like i remember like the next few um a couple days after she was just like um can i tell you something and then that's when you were just like to be honest i got i got butter <laughs> you call me messy <laughs> oh i know that's when we, we went to go eat pupusa <laughs> oh no. i was like you remember she that? vented girl she went i don't know why i got so butter because you've never said anything <laughs> No, I thought it was so funny because her son was rare. I was like, oh, really? You leave your Starbucks drink. Imagine I start talking shit. No, I didn't mean it like, oh, like she's messy. I meant it because like her sandals were just randomly in the kitchen. So it, they looked funny. It just looked like she just took them off. There. I don't know. Like if she was in a rush to go somewhere. But <laughs> that's pretty much it. But yeah, I think that has been our biggest. Because it wasn't even an argument, huh? No, I was just butter. And I didn't even know she felt like that because that night thing we stood up all night talking. I was still a little hurt though. Oh, I, I did, yeah, I didn't know because we were talking really like for, yeah. No, we were talking about something. We got like into a deep conversation, mm -hmm. actually. but deep down, deep down, I was really hurt. <laughs> so silly. I put your sandals back here. <laughs> I'm gonna put your sandals here, and I'll be like, it's so funny how, <laughs> how I just see your sandals. This one's similar to like one that we kind of answered, but we didn't really see the pros. Cause someone someone asked, <laughs> someone asked, what are the pros and cons of living with each other? But oh no, we didn't really answer this one. Hmm. A pro is that I always have someone to take pictures of me, like outfit pictures. Mm -hmm. Her and her sister are always taking my outfit pictures. A con? I don't really know. I know. I don't, I don't really have a con either because I don't. I wouldn't want to live by myself. Me either. I'd get fucking depressed. And this apartment scares us. With us two living here, I imagine that like I can't. And I feel like like I was raised around like all of my sisters and my mom that I I can't see myself living by myself. Mm, me neither. But a pro. You can't even think of one, girl. One, two, <laughs> I got cheese, lettuce, ham, potatoes, potato, and turkey. Greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, dog, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rabbit, you made beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. I think pro, definitely, my, well, at least my main one is that we talk to each other a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that one was mine. Um, being able to oh. <laughs> being able to talk remember, to someone. Remember when you got mayo on your toes? <laughs> I know. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? I don't know. You were making yourself a hot dog and you squirted the mayo all over your fucking toes. That shit was so funny. Well, you and Elsie do a meet and greet. People ask us that a lot. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like. I don't, I don't know if people I feel like kind of weird huh? yeah I feel like uh... it's because we're so awkward like if you guys hang out with us we're like we're very awkward and I feel like we're so like for example we went to like this beauty event and we met a CEO of this like makeup company <laughs> and she was so fucking awkward like and we thought she was drunk but until somebody confirmed with us that that's just the way she is oh I know um she was just staring at us and asking us questions and then we would answer and she wouldn't make conversation back she would just nod her head and she'll be like yeah and she'll like stare at us for like fucking one minute and do that she'll be like so yeah and I'm we would be like, like uh okay <laughs> we didn't know what to say it was the most awkwardest situation ever i've never met someone so awkward like that uh, yeah Alondra was just like, okay, we're gonna leave. <laughs> I was like, okay, bye, nice meeting you. <laughs> I feel like you would have stayed if you didn't say anything. I was just like, hey, you were doing the same thing you see, you're like, so yeah. Oh, uh, um, wait, oh yeah, the meet and greet. But, oh. but, oh, I don't wait, know. Oh, wait. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what we were getting off topic. Meet and greet, maybe one day. I feel like if we do one together, like, it wouldn't be as awkward. Oh, yeah. Versus us doing it alone. How some girl said, no shame, but how much physical work have you guys 
done together or separated. I've got in my booty eating though. <laughs> what about these? <laughs> what about these? I fucking love doing that. And you know what? I I I promise you, I'm never gonna my my, my booty eating. <laughs> Like, like, put it outside. I've never gotten my ass eaten. I don't believe in that. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Girl, why you like? I <laughs> swear, I put on breath since life. Never have I ever gotten my butt eaten. <laughs> it sounds funnier when you say butt. A lot of people are asking, how did we get big on Instagram? I don't know. I feel like just being thought you three or something. Imagine that. Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I really think like anybody who acts like themselves on social media can get anywhere on social media. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're active, like try posting almost every day. Because I feel like ever since we've made our YouTube channel, like it's been, like, our Instagram has been popping. Because <laughs> I feel like once you show your personality to people, they become like... They become more like attached to you. Mm hmm like, because they could relate to you, like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself, be... And it's more like on a personal level now. Mm hmm the once moment, you show your personality. Mm -hmm. But, I, I think that's like the best advice that we can give. Mm hmm just be active and be yourself. And be yourself. How did you and Elsie meet Isabella Chavez? Oh, that's my boo. You got a problem with my boo. Imagine I start some shit. Yeah, Isabella's my boo. She's my boo too. But how did we meet her? We met her. <laughs> like, <laughs> we met her through you. Okay. Through it. Through you? On the hood. <laughs> we met her through Instagram. The first day that I met Isabella is when she had a meeting greet at um our old west queen location you met her at your birthday party no no not your birthday party but when she came over no her... you Where? met her at the la harba location grand opening <gasps> oh yeah yeah i met her at the grand opening for the la harba location mm -hmm. somebody asked us like we want kids hell no oh. hell no oh <laughs> that's what you gave for saying do you want kids? I don't know. At first, I didn't want kids because I don't have patience for them at all. I really don't. But maybe when I'm older, I'll change my mind. I'll be like more mature. But right now, mm -hmm. hell no. Uh -huh. <laughs> hell no. Mm -hmm. I, no, I don't have the patience. That's my answer right there. Too. Mm -hmm. Which leads to our next question. If we're both... We're both single, like a Pringle. Pringles aren't single though. I know, it comes in like... Oh, that's us though. It comes with... It comes with a lot of hoes. Hey. <laughs> Come alone, it comes with a bunch of Pringles. Mm -hmm. With a, a bunch of other single Pringles. That's us. Dingles. Dingles? Dingles. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm still hungry. You There's want some more? I'm like... You're like, are you gonna eat that? You got some more wings. No, you got games on your phone. You got wings on your plate. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> so uh, the next question is, how long have you guys been best friends for? So let me tell you the story. She had a best friend, right? And I, I basically just told it from her. <gasps> same, oh, same oh, with her. I was like, you know what? You're my best friend now. <laughs> Fight me, amen. <laughs> Like honest to God, that's literally what happened. Yeah, I feel like we just became so close. Like when we and then, moved in with each other. When we moved in with each other, we had our best friends. Mm -hmm. But they stopped talking to us. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside. <laughs> I'm gonna make you my best best friend. <laughs> Get you drunk and move you in. Hey, 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 hey. I like the garlic one. I didn't either. They're fucking gross. Whose idea was it? was mine, huh? Yeah, because remember, yeah. I was just like, what is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, this question. You're gonna be shook. When I should be gonna laugh. I hope. Would you guys get a pet together? <laughs> uh, about that. <laughs> Here's a funny story. 
literally one week before our birth augmentation, we decided to get a dog out of nowhere. I don't know why a week before our birth augmentation. Why did we? I don't know, because we... <laughs> Because we were like talking to each other, we were just like, fuck, I feel like this apartment is so lonely. Mm -hmm. Like, we really, really put thought into it. Uh huh. No, we didn't. We thought about it for like a fucking day. And then they <laughs> think we had a dog. Well, we really put thought into it that day. <laughs> that Correction, night. that mm -hmm. day. Oh, yeah, that night. That it night. wasn't even a whole day. It was that Next night. Next day, bam, new dog. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We got a freaking dog. Her name was Bailey. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen her in our Snapchats. Videos, whatever. We would always Snapchat her when we first got her. <laughs> Bailey, <laughs> Bailey, what are you doing? Why are you trying to hump your toy? What's wrong with you? She's still in our lives, part time. Uh -huh. Um, her mom fell in love with Bailey, so we decided to. Give her away yeah. to her mom. Bailey actually fell in love with my mom. Bailey doesn't even know us. She doesn't love us. I think the answer to that is no. No. We tried. It was a fail. It's because she was so much responsibility and then you would let her sleep in your room. She would pee all over your carpet and I was like, hell no, I'm not letting her sleep in my room. By the time that we moved out of that apartment, my room fucking reeked. She <laughs> pissed all over, like every inch of the fucking carpet, it's all peed on. It, it fucking reads so bad. So yeah, the answer to that is no. I miss her sometimes, but nah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> she peed on my carpet. Oh, you know what? This is why we don't fucking like her ass. Let me tell you why. She came to visit us recently. She peed on our white carpet. <laughs> That's why we don't have her. <laughs> fuck her. Every time I see videos of you or Alondra dancing, it makes me cringe as fuck. Then don't watch him. People get really upset when we post our videos of us like, Mm -hmm. Like just messing around, they're just for fun. And yeah. people come for us. For people like, talk so much shit to us, it's fucking crazy. Like, I, I feel like I could literally just post a video of me putting lip gloss on and they'll be like, cringe. It's so <laughs> cringy. <laughs> huh. To clarify, like, our videos are as joking around. <laughs> I'm gonna come for you right now. They said, y'all two dollar hoes don't know shit about life shaking my hair. The last time a guy was like, it looks like you guys work at a grocery market or like a grocery store. If only you knew, honey boo boo. Like first of all, a lot of working all, on two major things, a business plus a collab, but my sisters and I own O3 Fash. Besides O3 Fash, we just opened a new business, but I feel like a lot of people come for us because they think we like they think that Instagram like we fucking live doing dumb videos on Instagram. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to clarify, I do not own OTD Fash. Everyone thinks <laughs> I do. I literally get emails almost every day asking to be on the PR list and I'm like it's so funny when people forward, are forward, <laughs> forward to L C D M you wanna you wanna DM I call you DM I to say I'm like LC you wanna see this why can't I talk as a DC? <laughs> it's because we don't think we don't know how to speak English. I don't know how to speak I get DMs and emails every day asking if like, they could be on the periodist for OOTD Fash, but I don't own it, so I and don't do anything about it. And it's so funny when some of you guys um, DM a laundry about your order. <laughs> I know, I'm like, or like a return. I'm like, that was it. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I'm just over here like, I'm gonna work for y'all bitches. No, I'm all taking care of customer service. <laughs> Another question that they asked Alondra on her page was, what is your favorite song, amiga? You know that Walmart kid? Oh yeah, no. What's it called? Is that the remix? No. Goodbye. wrap up this video you guys because we did answer mo hopefully all the questions most of the main questions and i know we got off topic so i'm very sorry we're sorry uh, but if you guys like this video feel free to comment like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications to be notified every time we upload a new video okay so the winner of last week's giveaway is araceli cove dm us we are going to hook you up with 100 dollars 
we can either venmo you or paypal you feel free to dm either laundry and i thank you guys so much for watching once again and we will see you guys on our next video yeah <laughs> oh, like a burp like, like a burp like a burp oh like, <laughs> i think it's like <laughs> that's how i burp though am i right <laughs> i think it's like a bird <laughs> Yeah. Why are they like that? They literally make noise 24 7. I wonder if they have kids because, well, actually, I don't know. So, this is what happens when your neighbors want to make too much fucking noise. Can you hear them? No. no. They, st they stop. They could hear it. So since our neighbors want to be so fucking loud, you ready? You ready for this? Um, Let's do this. Go, 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 go. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. <laughs>